Hi, welcome back to Wine Mastery. We are going to taste a Sauvignon Blanc that has been recommended by one of you, one of our viewers, Tim Pierce. So the wine that uh, Tim has recommended, it's, he watched our Stonely, our review of the Stonely Savion Blanc, and suggested we try this. Now it's from Lidl, um, obviously a chain of uh, supermarkets that are throughout Europe, so hopefully uh, you're around. I'm not sure if they're in the States or not, but hopefully they are, so you can try this. It's a New Zealand Savion Blanc, it's from Marlborough, which is the place for Savion Blanc. It is indeed, I, yep. It's the place. Uh, it's called I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and read this because it's Awater. It's Awater. Yeah, I'd say that was Awater. I I couldn't say 100. percent Awater. Awater Valley. Awater. 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 You can you can let us know. Yeah, it's, it's here. It is. Yeah, it's, it's down here. This is how you spell it. Uh, you can let us know. So um, now Tim preferred this, I think, to, to Stonely. So uh, should we give it a go and see yeah. what you think? Now the price of this. I got excited. <laughs> Go on. The price, price is eight forty nine. Okay, so the sits right in the middle there. Not too yeah. expensive, not too cheap. No. What, what do we think of the stone leaf? Uh, I can't remember to be honest. I think okay. I, it, the fact that we don't, I think it was okay. I, I don't remember it being bad. I don't remember it being exceptional. So you know, it was in the middle there. In Fine. the middle there, yeah. Why don't you ask me a difficult question? Like that? I, I was just asking them. You, you know these things. So yeah, nice, nice light color there. Yeah. Neither here nor there. Happy with that. Yeah, it's like, it, is, it is quite translucent, isn't it? There's hardly any colour at all. When I'm holding against the white background, um, I'm really just getting quite a lot of white and only sort of like a yellow on the outside on the rim. And that is just hint, isn't it? Yeah. Fine, absolutely fine, nothing wrong with that. So that makes me think that the smell, you know, just look like it's going to be quite bland. Yeah, it's not. Oh, wow, but it's not. But it's not, <laughs> it's not, isn't it? That's a... Oh, wow, no. That really comes to greet you, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't sort of wait for you to get to the glass. It says, come here. Yeah, that is a, an aggressive, yeah. in a nice way. That's not why I, I, I enjoy that. So I'm, I'm getting uh, cut grass with that. Cut grass, um, it's got, it's, I tell you what, this has got the stereotypical passion fruit. Oh yeah. Oh, That's yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And what, when you say that, it's like under, and then the underneath that, I was thinking um, like flowers and white flowers, but then there him is in, again, the stereotypical, um, so when you're on, it's elderflower. It's oh, okay. elderflower, it's the, Elderflower, passion fruit, like you say, cut grass, send it many times. If um, if green could smell like something, that's what green would smell like. Do you know what I'm getting? Then I very rarely get it, but it's, I'll get a little bit of cat's pee. Ah, oh, ah, oh, never get that. I've had it once, but. No, just a little bit. I no, think it I sounds awful, smell but it's <laughs> just that, yeah. And something else, something else. Go on. This is, I don't know this is why this is tricky in my mind here, but. You know, sort of like an underarm, sort of just a, not not a bad underarm, but someone that's just got a little bit of a hum. It's just like a. I do, I do, I get that. A, fr a fresh, yeah, a fresh out of the shower, not an all day long kind no, of no. stink. But no, no. Like, oh, I have to go back in, sort of just a yeah. slight. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually, I really like that, John. It's really appealing. Uh, I don't. Know, I've actually just been talking now. I'm getting this. Pencil shavings, you know, when a, a young boy, when he shaved, uh, uh, um, I don't know, like, oh, yeah, cut yeah, a memory, yeah. that yeah, kind yeah, of, yeah, the yeah. lead and the wood yeah. together. Wow, this is really giving a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Well, Tim, I can understand, certainly from the uh, the smell, that why you why you like this, it's, uh, oh. wow, that's giving a lot, isn't yeah, it? Because I mean, yeah, sometimes we just smell a wine, oh, what can you Box say about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was, but there's, a, there's actually a lot, lot, lot in going there, yeah. on there, yeah, absolutely. Good stuff, let's have a little go on the uh, old oh, yeah. uh, palette. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I'll say ooh again. What? What? It's a bit um a bit too in your face, is that from What do you mean by too in your face? There's no subtlety there. Like on the nose there, that was quite it came to you, it hit you, and then you're quite glad of it. And but then they were like you picked those little bits out as we did. But just from that, the actual flavour, that's hard work, hard drinking. I would not that is um what do you mean hard work? I mean, I don't think it's hard work in terms of the, the flavours there. What? You don't have to do any hard work to detect it. A lot of wines you could just sit and, no, it's not hard work to detect it. It'd be hard work to sit there and drink that just on its own. That would need food. For me, that needs food. I could not sit and just drink that on its own. Because it's too acidic or? No, no, the, the acidity is there. It's just powerful, sharp. There's a sharpness. It's not acidity, it's a sharpness. Now, almost like a licorice cloyiness, which, um, Mm. 
Well, I've... perhaps that's above. Perhaps that's above my pay station. But I pay station. As in, it's too much for me. I was. It, I'm not ready for it. But okay. how, I mean, how do you find that? Because there's there's a lot going on there. There is but a lot. It's a, it's, it's a no, too much over sensory kind of. It's beating my my um, tongue, my uh, my palate. Whereas on the nose, I could make sense of this, this, this. I could pull that, that, and that out on the palate. It's just like punching me. It's just like, ah. Well, I was actually. I'm a little. I was worried the other way around. I was on the, on the nose. I think, wow, this is going to be really powerful. When it's as well, it's going to like over overpower me. It's going to be like too strong. And and I was pleasantly surprised when I drank it because it didn't over. It didn't. It wasn't as strong as I thought. It's strong in terms of the taste, um, but it wasn't because I was preparing myself for it being uh, a lot stronger. If you know what I mean, I, I think I must have compensated because it, it, it didn't come across too strong. I thought it was really, really, it was very savant, as you expect, it was a typical savant taste. But the thing I liked about it, it didn't have the acidity. It was nice, you know, it, nice and rounded. It wasn't sort of going, making me go, oh, this is going to hurt my stomach later. No, the acidity isn't there. That, that's not the thing that worries me about it. It's just the power of flavour and what is coming through on there. I just, it's just, uh, for me, it's, it's a um, sensory overload of, of the taste buds. I was going to say, because maybe that's it, maybe because your, your taste buds are that much more sensitive than mine, um, that actually maybe that's why I've not found it so overpowering. Maybe, maybe, but I'm, I don't know. It's, nose-wise, I could have spent, I, I could have spent 10, 15 minutes smelling that before actually getting into that and enjoyed every bit of that. Mm. I can still, I can still do it now, but flavor-wise, it's just, it's just a bit too coarse for my liking. I'd say this is, for me, compared to other Savion Blancs we've tried, this is certainly my top 20%. Brilliant. But well, again, we're all different on this. This is why we're tasting this. That's why we're doing yeah. this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's a, just a nice taste. And I mean, it's not like the taste is strong, but it's I like the taste. So it's just a strong taste I like. So it's a bit like, so what would you do with cheese? Because, you know, you get some strong cheeses, don't you? Yeah. And you don't like having cheese with bread or crackers. Not usually. So... You accept strong, powerful cheese, but you're not going to accept. Sometimes, well, I know 90% of the time what, what the cheese is going to taste like, so I'm ready for it, and you know, from the smell, I can taste what it's going to be like. From that, okay, I was, I was lulled into a false sense of security. Perhaps that's the wrong way to say it. I did not expect that flavour to be that powerful, and then when it got me, it got me. Well, now you expect it to be that powerful, so why don't you taste it expecting I, 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 it to I, I, be? I've, I've just been doing that and just thinking, well, could I still, would I? And it's still, it's just too much. Uh, Immediately. Is that because because you're a bit of a purist, and for you that's not how Sauvignon Blanc should be? It, it, it's, a, it's how Sauvignon should be, but times ten. You so know, it's, it's not, not it's not how it should be then. But it's, it's, it's trying to, uh, for me it's kind of saying right, this is the Sauvignon. That's what you expect. Now I'm going to test you with this, and right push push the limits there. And um, flavour wise, it just does not float my boat. Flavour wise, I can sit down with the Sauvignon and a delicate Sauvignon and drink it, sip it, watching whatever it might be. The, the, uh, reading my book. But that is just, it's a, it's a lot for me. The nose, perfect. The flavour, not so much. Okay. Well, you know, for me, it's it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. And and I know what you mean about, I think I think this would make more of a perfect uh, accompaniment to a meal than it would necessarily just be something mm, that a yeah. bottle will sit down. And So I, I, I do get that, which probably just links in quite nicely to what would you pair with it? Ooh, cheese one. Should I go with the... Um, we'll go for it. Yeah. So what I would do uh, with this is I would have a fish dish. So a couple of fish dishes I would think of. One would be um, a fish a fish pie. So, you know, with uh, sort of prawns and cod and haddock and smoked haddock maybe in a cream sauce with some potato on top. Because I think this has got enough acidity and strength that it will be able to cope with uh, all of that fish and, and really accompany it quite, quite nicely. Um, I mean, I, that's really where I settle with that. Um, I, I think that would be... Spot on with that. Okay, so I, upon um, upon having a cheese with this one, I'm going to have to take something that's going to have to a lot of power, but without being uh, with these power and these acidity. It, it, my thinking now is I need something that's going to battle that uh, because that's going to take on too many things. So I would say a Cotherstone, but a Cotherstone of old, the older Cotherstone, which uh, which has got that nice light cast in there, which will take on the acidity in there, then the power of flavour would hopefully. Torn that down, but it would have to be like I say, an older, more mature Coddleston. What is a Coddleston? Coddleston is um, it's a it's like a Wednesday with style. 
It's a it's a creamy Wednesday almond. It doesn't have the crumbliness there. It is like almost like a creamy Lancashire texture. It's got a lot more moisture in there. But again, a lot more lactic acid, a bit more class about it. But that, that needs taking down a peg, and I think that's what the cost is. Could you think of a cheese that people outside the UK might be able to grab hold of that would go um, with that? Outside the com uh, probably well, the Comte, again, it just what you need is the lactic acid in there, the richness, the, 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 the milkiness. I want the milkiness in there, but a bite as well. So it's going to hit it on different, <coughs> on different levels. <coughs> so yeah, the milkiness of the Comte, plus the kind of um, uh, that lactic acid, I think you should take that on, but I would definitely go Collison beforehand. Okay, great. Well, let's let's move on to scoring. I think we're going to have a little bit of a gap between thee and I on this one. I think we you? are, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, so, are you going to score first, and I'll, I'll come along afterwards. <coughs> and it is 8.49. 8.49. So, not a bad price. Um, not a bad Sauvignon, but it's, it's a proper in your face Sauvignon. It's like, if you've never tried Sauvignon before, <coughs> this is what it's going to do for you. This is the high end. This is you cannot deny that a Sauvignon. The, the nose on it. If I was scoring on nose alone, I'd give it a massive point. But because of the flavour, I am going to have to bring it down because it's, it's not a Sauvignon I would enjoy. Although I do enjoy Sauvignon, so I'm going to bring this right down or to a <laughs> that. There you go. Okay. I'm going to go 83. That is a massive gap. I said 70. Oh really? Wow, yeah. you did drop it, didn't you? I did, I did, I did, I did. I apologise. You have to apologise, it's just weird. No, no, that's just my taste buds. Maybe I wasn't ready for this evening. But um, I say, if, if we're scoring it on nose alone, I would have gone right up there. And I just kept it there, but because of the flavour for me, it just, it spoiled. It was too astringent, it was too um, harsh, too, um, what's the way? It was just too in your face, too coarse, too, it was trying too tarty. to be too tarty. Too tarty. It was trying to be, in my mind, it was just trying to overemphasize what a Sauvignon is, and so it made it a bit coarse and a bit harsh. Well, I went 82, and then I thought, actually, I'm going to give it an extra point for the, for the smell, for the uh, aroma. So I gave an extra point for that. And I think it's really, this is really, it, you guys, that whatever we say, uh, you know, you may think completely differently. And we normally are within three of each other, aren't we? Usually, yeah. So it's really interesting that we've we've diversed and known that we're going to diverse uh, so much on this one. So uh, it just goes to show, that, you know, that it's a bit like beauty is in the eye of beholder. Uh, the beauty of a taste is on the palate of the person. That was a bit of a stretch, wasn't it? But <laughs> live with it, John. Live with it. <coughs> okay, guys. Well, thanks, Tim, very much for uh, recommending it. It was really oh, yeah, interesting. Thanks, yeah, really interesting uh, trying that. Um, I did have to search around for uh, for Liddell to uh, get this. I did tweet them and stuff, and they didn't respond. And uh, and then they said, "Oh, we'll try and make sure there's more around." And I had to keep going back. So, not the best possible. Did you just pronounce service. that Liddell? Is it not Liddell? <laughs> I, it might be. I thought it was Little. Oh, maybe it is. But Liddell sounds so much cuter. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's so it's, cute. Perhaps it's more the sun way of Liddell. Liddell. <laughs> Liddell. <laughs> ah, I'm so telling Molly. Okay. <laughs> ah, oh, this is... oh dear. All right, guys. Well, until the next time when I'll try and get the shop pronunciation correct. <laughs> you don't have to, Johnny. Don't have to. <laughs> until the next time we enjoy sharing another glass. If you've got any recommendations, let us know. Until then, guys, chin chin. Chin chin.